Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel for another bang. Now as you can see with the title, I'm going to be telling you how I lost $4,000 in the stock market. And it's not in the way that you're thinking. I know you thought, you really thought that, you know, I did like a swing trade or like a day trade and like lost $4,000, but that's not the case. Okay. That's not the case. And I'm going to tell you all the tea. Okay. Anyways, let's get into the story. Is, is this even a story? Anyways, I feel like, you know, there's somebody out there who needs this lesson. So that's why I decided to make this video, even though I have a different stock video that's scheduled for today. Now, back in November or October, I bought share, 200 shares of AMC Holdings. Okay. It's like AMC Entertainment, right? I bought 200 shares of that company at, I think, $2 or $3, right? Um, and I kept it in there for like a month. Okay. But what really made me want to sell the stock was not even about the stock it was the fact that i was trying out this no commission investing app in canada because oh my god to be honest canada kind of sucks because other people in other countries have so many free options they have td i'm with trade they have you know webull i even tried to sign for a webull account but i couldn't even get the webull account anyways um it took like four days for my money to to get there okay then for it to be available for me to trade after that, I did the trade and I'm like, whoa, it takes, it took like six days. It took like six to eight days for me to even start the process in the first place. At that point, I actually wanted to buy another stock, but you know, I was just like, okay, you know what? Let me just buy this one. So I did my research, you know, and I was like, okay, MC, blah, 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 blah. So I invested literally almost $1,000 in it. I know I big risk taker, right? In a penny stock, $1,000. Yep. I did that anyways. And then like a few months or weeks later, I decided to sell the stock because it was now four dollars but the reason i decided to sell the stock is because i was trying to reshuffle trading with one thousand dollars to grow it but the problem was no commission account was that it takes eight days to get your money after you sell a stock it takes so long to even get the money in your bank account so the entire process would take you like 10 days something that should take you one day so it was quite impossible to trade on this app so then i sell my 200 shares of AMC at a profit of around 300 bucks. Okay. Now I always thought I'd get back into the stock on my normal trading where I trade normally, or like where I buy stocks normally, uh, using a bank. Cause I don't play with brokerages like that. Okay. I just rather pay the money. I pay that high fee. Yeah. Cause I'm not playing with like brokerages and I don't want to hear no problems with my money. So yeah. Anyway, so I was happy with my profit, took it, dumped it in different bank accounts. So happy with that, right? But now, a few days ago, I'm like looking at my watch list and I'm like, whoa, AMC just hit five bucks. Whoa. So I'm like, you know what? I think, you know, it, it is, that stock was pretty unstable. I'm like, you know, I have time to get it. I have time to get it. Now, from last week to this week, this stock has went up, I think, over 300% or at least to 50%. So it went from being $3 to being $15, almost $16. And I'm just here like, you know, like I'm crying inside because I'm like, I should not have sold that stock based off of something like that. Like, moral of the story, um, I say this a lot on my channel. I hold all my stocks I, I i can list on one hand the number of stocks i have sold okay i do not sell my stocks because i'm more so a long-term investor i'm not going to invest in a company that i do not see doing well long term if i don't find it disruptive i don't you know if it's not worth keeping you know i don't buy it because most of the time this this is kind of the stuff that happens so many stocks i i've held i held neo when it was like 10 11 dollars and girl Neo was really volatile and like, you know, up and down, up and down. Like I held so many stock through their penny range and some of those stocks are now $20. Um, so I try my best to hold stocks even when they're not doing well, because that's the entire point. If you are selling your stocks because you don't have the stomach for it, uh, because it's going down, you should really not be investing in the first place, which brings me to the point of saving money. Okay, guys, if you save money, you're stupid, okay? There's no reason you should be saving money. You should be saving money to invest. You save to invest, not to, just to save to save, because that makes no sense. Your money is not growing. You are not making nothing off of that money. Not only that, I've talked about this multiple times, inflation, right? Your money is becoming worthless and worthless and worthless, okay? I talked about fiat currency in a different video. You need to make sure that you're actually, you know, setting yourself up to succeed and 
doing that by saving money like the only time i even say that is like an emergency fund or something like that but even that should be in some sort of high interest savings account um one of my subscribers actually asked me to recommend books that i read and i'll be doing that okay the intelligent investor is such a great book i've read that book uh rich dad poor dad you know the basics okay i will make a whole different video about that yeah anyways my rant is kind of over uh don't forget to like this video or dislike it you know uh subscribe because it helps the channel add a lot and turn your post notifications on so you're notified every single time i post a video which is every single day bam